the poops as a pro. So while artists, musicians, and scientists spend lifetimes achieving greatness, it took just four weeks of basketball for Jordan to establish himself in the minds of most as the greatest. His most memorable feats took even less time, usually just a couple of seconds, often the final ones. Here's our top ten. At number 10, three seconds, Jordan scores a shot. Oh, oh yes! Win. Oh. Michael Jordan oh. saves the day, and the Bulls win. Number 9, Jordan with two seconds left. Jordan to win! Michael Jordan being Michael Jordan. Number 8, Michael to win it. Coming in at number seven. 2.5 seconds. Jordan again. Uh, and he just have he to come. He's done it again. Almost from the same spot. Number six. Jordan with four seconds. Takes, shoots. Oh, oh he did it again. Oh. He did it again. Number five. Jordan putting moves on Russell. We're down to two. Out of one. Here's Jordan. I can't really fathom the idea that everybody that's watching the game, TV and even on the building, knows you're going to get the ball, knows you're going to take the shot, and yet you're able to come through in that situation. At number four. The time winding down, Michael for three. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. A winner. Unbelievable. Number three. Racing the clock. Jordan for the win. Yes! I did it again! He is now back! Holy macro! Number two. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win! They win it! Set the Cleveland Cavaliers! Michael Jordan hits it at the foul line. One to 100. And number one. Jordan. Jordan, a drive. Hang. Fire. Yes! Yes! He scores! The Bulls lead 87 86. So what should Michael Jordan do next? We asked, you answered, nearly half of you say he should work in an NBA front office. Let's hear from the man himself a short time ago. MJ spoke with our Michelle Tafoya. When you wake up on Thursday morning and the playing career is behind you, what are you looking forward to most? Relaxation first. You know, it's just to evaluate what transpired over two years, what I've seen over two years, uh, pros and cons, you know, and me personally, you know, I'm, I'm at the end, you know, I'm, it's like, um, you know, it's time for me to move on. It's, you know, I've been on a life support system for two years now, so now let me go to heaven in a sense, you know, that's kind of, I've seen it, you know, let me go up and, and, and see if I can you know, you know, envision myself getting involved in this thing, you know, and then doing, the, making the right moves, you know, so I'm, I'm ready to go. You know, I'm ready to, to put it away. My gut's saying it's time to move on. Jordan's final game right after we wrap Sports Center. This portion of tonight's NBA telecast is brought to you by Basic, now in theaters. Hi, everybody. Mike Tirico, Greg Anthony in the studio. Our second game is Utah-Sacramento, but your thoughts on Michael Jordan wrapping up his career and season tonight? Well, phenomenal. I think what stands out most in my mind is the fact that here you have a guy 40 years old, has not missed a game the entire season. I think that's just an amazing accomplishment and it tops off a brilliant career. All right, here's what you need to know about the NBA tonight. Key games involving the playoff mix. Brad told you about the Sixers' involvement. The Nets and Pacers will impact Philly as well. Magic Bucks, the winner's the seventh seed, the loser is the eighth seed. And Atlanta takes on New Orleans. New Orleans can get up to the four. Also significant games out west where one, two, seven, and eight are decided. Three through six will be over, and three is Dallas. Four through six will be decided. We'll keep you covered and updated on all the playoff matchups all night. 1,250 times Michael Jordan has played a regular season or playoff game in the NBA. There's one more, and it comes up in a couple of minutes. After last night, Allen Iverson is fractionally ahead of Shaquille O'Neal, third leading scorer in the NBA, heading into the final night of the season. But much more importantly for the Sixers, a beaten, banged-up team, Greg Anthony. They
they can't win the division. The Nets are the two seed. Detroit's the one seed as central champs. Philly's got some work to do tonight to be the three, and if not the four, maybe the five and lose home floor. So an important evening for Philadelphia. Well, it's extremely important. Also, remember that they are not playing well because of injury. They've got a lot of their key components out right now. Three days ago, you thought this team had a chance to win the Atlantic Division. Now they may not even have home court in the first round. And they get the three with a win, and if Indiana loses, the Pacers are taking on the Nets tonight at Conseco Fieldhouse. Let's show you the story in the East where one and two are locked in. The Pistons and Nets will be there. As mentioned at the bottom, the Magic and Bucks, the winner there is the seven, the loser the eight. They go head-to-head -head tonight in Milwaukee, and Boston is dialed into that six spot. So a lot of flux in the three, three, five, and Greg, you can make the argument that the bottom half of the East, save for Boston, is playing better than the top half of the East with the playoffs starting Saturday. Yeah, is the cup half empty or half full right now? Looks like it's half full because the bottom of that Eastern Conference playing the best basketball, everybody fears Tracy McGrady, but you better fear the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah. They're playing extremely well right now. George Carl has his team doing what they need to do. All the TVs are ready here. We'll watch every NBA game. That's we'll right. show everything before we're done. Playoff matchups. Who's going to get the number one chance to get LeBron James in the lottery yeah. and the Western Conference matchups as well. As we mentioned, we know two of the matchups out there. The 1-8 series is going to be San Antonio Phoenix. The 2-7 Sacramento Utah, which is our second game. But Sacramento might have something to play for if Dallas wins tonight. We'll sort it all out. Yeah. We're here all night. The coffee's going, but it's MJ's <laughs> last game. That's the headline. We'll send you back to Philly and Brad Ness.